Vladimir Putin was prepared to put Russia's nuclear forces on alert during the takeover of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula last February. The Russian president's revelations were made in a documentary broadcast on Russian state TV on Sunday, as Moscow marks one year since annexing the Black Sea Peninsula. The three-hour-long feature has sparked calls in Ukraine and within Russian opposition ranks for a war crimes tribunal to be opened against Putin for military aggression. The Russian leader justified preparing the nuclear operation in case international powers would intervene in the Kremlin's operation to seize the peninsula. He said he was ready to react to face, quote, the worst possible turn of events. Putin also admitted to deploying thousands of Russian special forces, marines and paratroopers to block and disarm the Ukrainian military on the peninsula. He said, in order to block and disarm 20,000 well-armed men, you need a specific set of personnel. You need specialists who know how to do it. In the documentary called Crimea Way Back Home, Putin claimed that the terms of the Black Sea Fleet's lease in Sevastopol allowed for 20,000 Russian troops to be deployed there. However, there are likely to be suggestions that the terms of the lease don't cover the seizure of airports, government infrastructure and media outlets, as well as the blockade of Ukrainian military bases. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk requested last week that the Russian documentary trailer be sent to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Yatsenyuk said, I ask the Ministry of Justice to send this trailer to The Hague Tribunal. It is important that the movie in its entirety is also sent to The Hague Tribunal. This film should be of interest to international prosecutors and investigators. It answers the question of who gave instructions to seize Ukrainian territory in Crimea and violations of international law, and who was responsible. The Kremlin initially denied any link to the armed men who appeared in camouflage and without insignia after they began to flood the Crimean region in late February 2014. Following an illegal vote on seceding from Ukraine, Putin confessed that Russian special forces had indeed been deployed. Russia continues to deny, though, that regular Russian troops are fighting in eastern Ukraine.